over the past several years, each October, I've had the privilege of celebrating an Altrea Mass. It's a Mass that precedes a Curcio retreat. And in a way, it marks my year. It causes me to think about what I was doing or worrying about or planning in the previous Octobers. But this year was different, and so it has been for everyone. I recently heard a homily by a Holy Cross Father, Father Brad Metz, where he spoke of the challenge of being obedient regarding the pandemic for the greater good, and that this isn't a sprinting race, but rather a marathon. Well, today's gospel reminds us of what can happen in marathon-like times, when we can't be sure when things like, when will the master return, or the pandemic will end. Now that we're many months into this unusual time, it feels a lot like that deeply profound and classic movie, Groundhog Day. You know, the one that stars Bill Murray. If you haven't seen the movie, Murray plays a cynical local TV weatherman who is struck, is stuck within a time loop. And each day he awakens, and it is February 2nd. At first, Murray's character tries to distract himself by binge eating and drinking or engaging in whatever he thinks will give him pleasure. But predictably, nothing is lasting or satisfying. And soon he is back to where he began, even sadly trying to commit suicide. But in this movie, the turning point is when his co-star, Rita, encourages him to recognize the good, the silver lining in his time loop the ability to help others, the opportunity to grow personally. Jesus tells us that we must be prepared, for at an hour we do not expect the Son of Man will come. Now, almost none of us were prepared for this pandemic when it comes to everything from toilet paper to home offices to Zoom meetings. But what I think we have been better prepared for is through our spiritual life. In the masses that we've gone to, in the prayers that we've offered, in the confessions that we've made, all of these have equipped us to navigate through this challenging time. The last line of the gospel really is a wake up call to each one of us. Much will be required of the person entrusted with much, and still more will be demanded of the person entrusted with more. I know you might be thinking, Father Dave, I'm just a humble follower of Jesus. How does this apply to me? How have I been entrusted with much? Well, think for a moment of the gift of faith. Think for a moment of the gift of friendship and hope that you've received through the grace of God and by living your faith. Think about how God has brought people into your life who have pointed you to Jesus, and also those that he's brought for you to help. In these grace-filled moments, and countless more, we have been given the greatest of gifts. And each in our own way, like St. Paul says, we are to shine a light onto the mysteries of God's presence, especially important during, at times, the monotony and the uncertainty of our current days. And unlike Bill Murray's character, though our lives may be constrained, <coughs> life continues. We celebrate the birth of children, and we mourn the loss of loved ones. And in these and other times, Jesus is reminding us of how we can be prepared for when he returns. It's through beginning and ending our days in prayer. It is through celebrating the Mass in person or online, and it is in finding a way to seek the grace of confession when we need to go. By the way, if you're local, we priests are here hearing confessions Monday through Friday from 3 to 4 p.m. at the Father Payton Center, and we'd love to see you. Our brothers and sisters, we are blessed to be united in Christ. We're blessed to spend this time together and to realize that how we live today, tomorrow, and the next days is all about getting ready to meet Jesus every day. May God bless you and your families 
and take comfort that in this Mass, we are getting ready. <laughs>